make sure that you're, you're getting players who genuinely want to be at the football club and who are not just there for a big payday. So important. It's the most important thing, uh, Alex. You know, we like to do all our due diligence. It's a lot about Sandra on them. This is in terms of character, that's, that's the number one thing. If there's any kind of red, red flag uh, about any player's character, then we're always still clear, no matter, no matter how good the ability is, because you know, what we have got now would be such a such a great team, uh, such a fantastic group of guys uh, with, with some really good leaders in there and you know, if you keep building the wrong type of character into that change group, the effect that that can have on the group is uh, can be really detrimental. So you know, it's, a, it's a huge part of the way we recruit. And with that in mind, how important was the, the signing of Kieran Trippier, England international, someone who'd gone deep into World Cups and European Championships, got that Champions League experience, but that felt like a, a statement signing, but as much about his mentality as about the fact that you were signing a player with that kind of CV. Yeah, I think Kieran was probably the first real statement signing that we made uh, at the time, with where we was uh, in the league, and you know, there, was, there was a lot of talk and about relegation. Very difficult for us to sort of sign top players at the time really with, with that cloud sort of hanging over the football club and uh, luckily we, we had a very good relationship with Kira and we, we signed him as a, as a young lad uh, when he was at Burnley uh, and then we obviously had a fantastic career so we moved to Tottenham and then when we moved over to Atletico and you know myself and Ed had been to watch Atletico Madrid train uh, a couple of times and we spent sort of four or five days there sort of watching the managers and the players and obviously they had a relationship with Kieran and Mark's he was there so uh, we always stayed in touch and you know, it was funny actually we was <laughs> the story we was in Madrid uh, it was about six weeks six weeks before we ended up arriving in Newcastle we was in Madrid and uh, watching the train and then afterwards we went out for dinner uh, I mean, Kieran ended up having a night out actually in Madrid, which was <laughs> which was good. We spoke about a lot, and, and there, was, there was talk about obviously sort of him going to Newcastle, sort of prior to us, and about that relationship, and sort of letting him know, sort of then that there was a possibility of us maybe coming to Newcastle, and there was things going on in the background that uh, potentially could happen. And so we laid down the foundations, and we were sort of a lot earlier uh, in the process. And, you know, when we did a lot at Newcastle, obviously, you know, there was a lot to work with. Uh, you know, his, his mentality and his attitude to what was coming uh, was exceptional. Uh, he says, yeah, do you know what, I want to come, I want to really try and help the football club. Uh, you know, stay in the football, you know, stay in the league, and uh, I can help you guys and help the team. And, you know, that means more to me and family and come back. And, and I think off the back of Kieran, you know, sort of enabled us to sign sort of other top quality players. Obviously, Bruno was a fantastic signing for us as well at the time. So, um, he was the first real statement signing. But not only is he a fantastic player, but he's a great leader. He's very, very professional in his work and he does everything, he does everything right. He's the first one in every day, probably one of the last ones to leave. So, uh, I think when you bring players like him, not only are they top, top players on the pitch, uh, the, the professionalism and the leadership sort of around uh, the training ground sort of goes a long way to building the culture that we've built.